Malayal Basin Conservation Area, one of Malaysia's last few untouched wildernesses, a small plane soars over the tree canopy of one of the most diverse forests on Earth. On its underside is a powerful laser rangefinder that peppers the forest with 200,000 laser pulses every second, calculating distances in three dimensions from each reflected pulse. This is an airborne LiDAR scanner, a machine that's capable of producing exquisitely detailed 3D images of rainforest canopies over hundreds of square kilometres. One tree in particular stood even taller than all the others. The tree is a yellow Maranti. It's on the list of endangered trees and threatened by habitat loss. Measuring a tree's exact height is tricky when the tree is quite possibly the tallest tree in the tropics. The only way is to actually climb it and to take a tape measure with you. Which is precisely what Unding Jami, a tree climber from Sabah, did recently. When he reached the top, he texted, I don't have time to take photos using a good camera because there's an eagle around that keeps trying to attack me and also lots of bees flying around. Even so, his measurements showed that the tree's height is 89.5 metres, which would make it quite probably the tallest tree in the tropics. The tree that currently holds the record is an 88.3 metre tall tree of the same species in Tawau Hills National Park in Malaysia. At this height, the tree is roughly equivalent to the height of 65 people standing on each other's shoulders, or 20 double-decker London buses. It's just a few metres short of London's Big Ben. Trees in temperate regions, like the giant redwoods, can grow up to 30 metres taller. Yet around 90 metres seems to be the limit in the tropics. No one knows why this should be the case. This discovery comes at a critical moment because, set against a backdrop of decades of forest loss, the Savoy government has decided to protect and restore a huge tract of heavily logged forests just to the east of Maliao Basin. It's exciting to know that these iconic giants of the forest are alive and well so close to this major restoration project. Dear world, yours 